It's one more day into multiverses. And I feel great. You know why? The haters are silent. I cannot wait for this day to smile once I see the haters getting shut out by everybody who's enjoying what's going on with multiverses right now. Anybody speaking ill against multiverses right now is getting cooked on Twitter, on TikTok, on YouTube. I'm loving it. So that pretty much says to me, Multiverses Redemption is here. And if you guys don't understand why Multiverses is winning, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on what's changed. But before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get it. First of all, let's talk about launch. Multiverses released the launch details. They will be releasing tomorrow at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So what you need to do, go ahead and find out what that is in your time zone. But yes, it will be releasing early for me. Now, what's being included in this incredible launch is a lot, a lot, a lot of free things. First, let's talk about the battle pass. This is an incredible battle pass. This battle pass has over 60 items to get. Every single level has a reward. I have not seen a battle pass this dense since I played Fortnite. And on top of that, the rewards are actually fire. Also, those who played Multiverses Beta will be getting this battle pass for free. Yes, free. And what's included in this battle pass is one of the new characters, Jason. Not only do you get the battle pass for free, you get to play Jason without, without having to do any grinding. Because I know right now, Jason is pretty much, if not the most popular new character added to multiverses. Now characters, you know, that's why we love platform fighters. The characters make the game. Who are the crossover? Now on top of the original cast, we are getting a certified four new characters. That's Banana Guard from Adventure Time, Jason, Joker, and Agent Smith from The Matrix, which may be included later on. With four characters being added with the launch situation, I say that's amazing. And the choices that they're picking, they're picking the right ones. So if character's not your thing, what about PVE mode? which includes story, CGI cutscenes, mini games. Does that pique your interest? That piques a lot of people's interest. And not only does not only does this add some casualty to this game, you also get free rewards, skins, cosmetics, profile icons. And it's not something that you just complete. This will be an ongoing thing with multiverses. As updates go on, as seasons go on, so will this mode, which with that, we get more dialogue, and what more free items at this point multiverses is going to be worth the grinding they'll put in the timing i can't wait to see the, the shock on people's eyes when they realize how much more pocket friendly multiverses is and we love when the game cares about our pocket our pockets right i know i do net play they said this is world class net play this is the best net code a fighter probably has ever seen they're playing people in california all the way in Europe. I never had a consistent connection playing somebody in Europe. And to hear that people are feeling no lag is absolutely amazing. Because we know when Multiverses first launched the open beta, it kind of had some, you know, crazy issues going on. People flying off the stage and whatever, whatever. But we don't talk about Bruno. Let's keep it moving. Rank, we haven't heard so much about, but rank, of course, will be included. I'm not sure if it's going to be included on launch or will it be in included later on in the season? I'm not sure. They may want people to um, explore before they get into the sweaty mode. I don't know. How could I forget the stages? We have been confirmed new stages. Dexter's Lab, which has two different stages. Townsville, which have two different setups. And I see in the other stages, they did add some new things some different varieties to the old stages that we knew and love there's going to be so much more variety and fun to have in this version of multiverses they were never playing they were just in that lab cooking knowing that they were going to give us something good to eat and people tomorrow we're about to be eating there's so much information i'm trying to make sure i remember everything right now knowing the haters they still going to have something to say so let's talk about gameplay Gameplay Multiverses revamped everything from the ground up. As you can see, this game is absolutely beautiful now. So them changing from Unreal Engine 4 to 5, you can see the intense difference. And it's for the better. Not only that, 
every character got new attacks new setups like dash attacks other than that they added a defensive option outside of dodge which is parry because we knew we were annoyed with all this crazy things going on people just throwing out unsafe attacks not being able to be punished all of that is solved honestly it feels like multiverse suggests with reading all our tweets and our criticisms and used that to their advantage and gave us this beautiful game that we see at this point i think the haters are going to learn the lesson maybe you need to let the devs cook sometimes maybe you just need to let things happen you don't need to doom post every single game that's launching just because it's similar to your game it's all right these games can all live in the same environment but if you're still hating we don't give a damn multiverses is up don't forget to like and subscribe td and sign i did forget to mention i'm doing a battle pass giveaway tomorrow every hour i should be streaming at least 12 hours starting early early morning 5 a.m eastern standard time yeah